Okay, hi. So in today's little um, video, we'll actually be talking about this little guy here and the two ways I kind of discovered like how we can actually utilize it properly. So yeah, just stay tuned and watch the next part of the video. So the first way I'll be talking about is kind of like the fixed position camera. And I think that actually might give um, people a better viewing experience versus them viewing the process from within the headset because I think it makes people pretty dizzy from, from what I understand. So um, in this case, I'll put the camera maybe just on my left, I mean on my right hand side, just slightly above my shoulder. And let's pull up the video settings for this. Okay, so by default, um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it like that. But okay, so by default, I think it, it kind of goes to the hand handheld position, which is not what we want. And the headset is actually the other one, I think, which is the most commonly used one, which drives people dizzy. But the last option over here, the globe, is actually referring to this little camera too. So um, in this case, I can just kind of like maybe sculpt stuff while keeping the view area constant which we will see in like a demonstration video slightly after this so in this um, kind of like hyperlapse which I sped up like 1000 times um, you can actually see me just going through the scalp process as usual but I think the advantage of this is that people don't get dizzy from these high speed recordings and I think maybe it might actually make for a very good use case for like social media video postings um, if your audience range is actually for the general public and I think like this camera setting will make for a pretty good use case here. Right, so for this other um, camera option setting for the parented viewpoint which is what I'm going to call it for this video and I kind of found out about it by accident. So in this case let's just maybe create a cube first just to anchor our viewpoint. And what we can do is actually we can kind of just parent, bring it into the same uh, group as the scalp. So what happens is if I were to move out slightly, when I move my scalp, the camera moves along with it. This stays constant. And what you get in the video is actually pretty interesting. Um, I'm just going to talk about it here before I, I just kind of show the clip in a bit. So I can actually be kind of just like sculpting here and moving the viewpoint. But you actually just see my avatar just kind of just float around the piece. And this sculpt will actually remain as the anchor point. And I think actually these two ways that I just talked about will be pretty helpful in letting people watch the process. I mean, it's not like a close up. But I think people can still kind of get the gist of the overall process without getting dizzy. The main difference for this uh, parented viewpoint is just your mesh is just going to be the main anchor point in the entire video and your avatar will just move around it versus the previous one where um, your avatar actually is constant but the mesh is actually kind of like moving instead. So I, I think we can just choose between these two to see what suits your content and yeah that's kind of just how they, they work for for this okay so let's talk about the kind of downsides of using these two methods that i just talked about so um for those of you who actually use like maybe obs to record your your videos um i guess this sacrifices a bit of the quality that you guys are used to so for both methods i realize um i don't i haven't figured out a way yet to kind of pipe this to obs so I guess we have to use actually like the in software video exporter over here and this red button here for record um, basically natively record the entire process and you retrieve it from your, your Adobe Medium folder. So yeah, um, if you guys kind of figure out a way for me to pipe through the video to maybe external software, just let me know and see you in the next videos guys.